Hey everybody, it's Steve's Midweek Shout Out. Good to come to you here today in the middle of the week. Hey, I hope your life is really going well. I hope you're having a great week and you're really enjoying yourself. You know, tonight I want to talk about inspiration. I've been talking about inspiration a lot the past few weeks. I think it's because we're in the season of Epiphany and our theme for Epiphany is igniting inspiration. And I want to think about how I can ignite your inspiration. You know, for me, inspiration is the combination of three things, body, mind, and soul. And this past week, I touched on taking care of your body. If we want to have that inspiration ignited, we've got to take care of our body. This past Sunday, I shared several different things that I want to review here quickly with you tonight about how to take care of your body. You know, the first thing that you need to realize is that your body is the sacred temple of God. Everything about you is sacred. Your, your brain, your mind, your personality, your spirituality, your sexuality, your skeleton, your muscles, everything about you is sacred. And then when you begin to realize that your body is sacred, you need to take stock of how you're treating your body. I mean, you need to take stock. You need to review. Are you abusing your body in some way, shape, or form? Are you abusing alcohol, cigarettes, caffeine, drugs? Are you abusing food? What are you doing? Are you running your body down in some way, shape, or form? And you need to sit and you need to be honest with yourself. You need to take stock about what's going on. Then after you take stock, you have to find some inner resolve to change. It, you can only change. You will only feel a sense of transformation when you feel inside of yourself a deep sense of commitment, a resolve to change. It has to come from deep within you. You know, The challenge to become healthy and fit takes a lot of strength, takes a lot of inner strength. And you will find that inner strength if you will go down deep, but you have to be committed. And after a sense of committed, I got to tell you, you got to get going on the journey. You got to get your body going. For me, you know, we find health and fitness through exercise. I know a lot of people don't like to hear that. They don't want to exercise, but I got to tell you, you got to get your body moving in some way, shape, or form. You got to get your heart pumping at least, you know, three times a week. You know, I strive for five times a week. You know, you can exercise in so many different ways. You can exercise in your house on a gym, you can uh, buy a CD, you can download information. There are television shows about uh, about health and fitness, different exercise routines. You can hire a, a fitness guy to, to show you how to get fit. You can walk, you can swim, you can ride a bike, you can run. I mean, the, the possibilities are endless to how you can get physically fit or how to do exercise. Then after exercise comes nutrition. You know, diets don't work. I really don't believe diets work because you can lose a lot of weight, you go off the diet, and you gain all the weight back. You have to, to uh, approach nutrition from a holistic perspective. You have to re-educate yourself about what it means to actually eat. You know the most important thing that you will ever lift, the most important weight you'll ever lift in your fitness journey? The weight of your fork, the weight of your fork what you put inside your mouth. And you're going to have to learn all brand new things about nutrition. You're going to have to learn how to shop. You're going to learn how to eat. You're going to have to learn new ways of cooking. You're going to have to search the internet for recipes. You're going to have to talk with other people. And you're going to have to brainstorm so that you're approaching nutrition from a whole different perspective. And then you know, another really key, key important thing is having a community of people around you. This is a hard journey to do by yourself. You need to have people that you love and care about and who love and care about you that can encourage you on this journey. And then you know what? Bit by bit, things begin to change. Bit by bit, you begin to realize that your body is indeed the temple. Bit by bit, you begin to feel healthy and strong again. And that's what happens with health and fitness. You feel a sense of strength, a sense of courage, a sense of commitment, but ultimately, a sense of joy in your life. So I want you to, to be inspired. I want your inspiration to be igni ignited. Body, mind, and soul. No, I got that wrong. Dang it. I hear the end of the video. Body, mind, and soul. All right, we'll see you. Take care. Bye.